Hi friends, good morning. Next video from Dhruva Edutainment and Vidu classes. Friends, this question from Unit 3A, Musculoskeletal System of Intermediate Second Year, Structural Organization in Animals of Intermediate First Year. Friends, this question is present both in first year and second year. What is that question, friends? <coughs> Describe the structure of a skeletal muscle. Friends, both first year and second year students, please concentrate on this question. Muscle is present, tissue, muscular tissue is present in the first year. Muscular system is present in the second year. So because of that you have the same question, <coughs> that is structure of skeletal muscle in first year and second year. Okay friends? Now what is our question friends? <coughs> Describe the... <coughs> Describe the structure of a skeletal muscle. Okay, friends. What is our answer, friends? Skeletal muscle is also called as stripped muscle or voluntary muscle. Friends, here it has three names, friends. Skeletal muscle. You know, friends, skeletal system. Why we are calling it as skeletal muscle? Because these muscles are attached to the bones. The muscles which are attached to the bones are called as skeletal muscles. That is the first definition, friends. Come to straight muscles, friends. These muscles have striations, alternate dark and light bands. Because of that, we are calling them as straight muscles or stripped muscles. Now, third definition, friends, voluntary muscles. The contraction of these muscles under the consciousness of the animal, under the willpower of the animal. So, because of that, we are calling them as voluntary muscles. Friends, Skeletal muscles are also called as stripped muscles or striated muscles and voluntary muscles. Okay, friends, that's the first definition you have to write. Now, friends, these muscles are attached to bones by tendon, friends. Just now I told why you are calling them as skeletal muscles because they attach to the bones. How they are attached to the bones? They attach to the bones by a connective tissue membrane, dense irregular connective tissue membrane. That is what friends tendon, here you have to remember tendon, what is tendon? Tendon is a connective tissue which connects a striated muscle with a bone, a skeletal muscle with a bone, a voluntary muscle with a bone. What is that connective tissue friends? Tendon, tendon, okay friends, next. A skeletal muscle is made up of skeletal muscle fibers. Friends, a skeletal muscle means it is muscular tissue. You know what is the definition of tissue, friends? It is a union of muscle cells or cells. The structural and functionality of a tissue is what, friends? Cell. A group of cells which are having similar structure and function form a tissue. A skeletal muscle is what, friends? It is a muscular tissue. It is made up of what? Skeletal muscle cells. Those skeletal muscle cells are called as muscle fibers. Friends, this is very, very important. Muscle fiber means muscle cell. Muscle fiber means muscle cell. Friends, don't forget what is muscle fiber. It is nothing but muscle cell. So, skeletal muscle is made up of what, friends? Skeletal muscle cells, skeletal muscle fibers. Okay, friends? Now, come to next point, friends. This is important, this para, you have to concentrate. Each muscle fiber, each muscle cell of a muscle is surrounded by a thin connective tissue sheet called as endomysium. Friends, a muscle has number of muscle fibers or a muscle has number of muscle cells. Each muscle cell of a muscle or each muscle fiber of a muscle is surrounded by a thin connective tissue sheet. That is called as what friends? Endomysium. Endomysium. Okay friends? Next. A small group or a small bundle, a bundle of muscle fibers is called fascicle. Friends, fasciculus. See, a muscle has number of muscle cells. These muscles are also called as myo muscle fibers. Each muscle fiber is surrounded by a connective tissue sheath that is called as endomysium. 
the muscle cells or muscle fibers which are covered by endomysium form a bundle small bundle a small bundle of muscle fibers is called fascicle friends fascicle see friends each fascicle is surrounded by a connective tissue sheath that is called perimysium friends one is endomysium it is present inside next fascicle it is covered by perimysium okay friends a fascicle is surrounded by a thin connective tissue sheath that is called as what friends perimysium perimysium a group of fascicles form a muscle see friends a group of myofibers or muscle fibers or muscle cells form a fascicle a group of fascicles form a muscle a group of fascicles form a muscle fascicles are held together by fascia friends here you have to remember what is fascia it is a connective tissue which connects two fascicles fascicles are held together by fascia each fascicle friends one more definition you have to remember okay friends a muscle is surrounded by a thin connective tissue sheath called epimysium friends you have to remember three mysiums endomysium perimysium epimysium from inside to out first endomysium above that we have perimysium above that we have epimysium outside to in epimysium perimysium endomysium these mysiums are what friends connect to tissue sheath okay once again friends endomysium is a connective tissue sheath it surrounds a muscle cell perimysium is a connective tissue sheath which can which covers fascicle epimysium is a connective tissue sheath which covers a muscle okay friends here you have to remember three definitions endomysium perimysium epimysium in addition to these three you have to know what is fascicle and what is fascia friends what is fascicle a bundle of muscle fibers is called as fascicle what is fascia fascicles are held together by a connective tissue that is called as fascia okay friends that is about the simple definitions friends now come to actual our important part structure of skeletal muscle cell friends structure of skeletal muscle cell skeletal muscle cell is also called as muscle fiber friends very very important you have to remember muscle fiber myocyte sarcocyte friends muscle cell myocyte sarcocyte are the names of whom friends to the a muscle cell a muscle cell is also called as muscle fiber this is very very important friends muscle fiber myocyte sarcocyte see friends in greek sarco means muscle in latin myo means muscle so because of that what we are saying myocyte sarcocyte myocyte means muscle cell in latin myocyte means muscle cell in greek sarcocyte means muscle cell okay friends please don't write this yellow is one in your ip test mein, friends okay next this muscle cell is a long cylindrical and unbranched the skeletal muscle fiber the skeletal muscle cell is long cylindrical and unbranched friends next its plasma lemma is called as sarcolemma the plasma lemma of the muscle cell muscle fiber is called as sarcolemma the cytoplasm of muscle cell is called sarcoplasm friends it is long cylindrical unbranched the plasma lemma of the muscle cell is called as plas sarcolemma the cytoplasm of the muscle cell is called as sarcoplasm the endoplasmic reticulum of muscle cell is called as sarcoplasmic reticulum sarcoplasmic reticulum this sarcoplasmic reticulum see friends very very important it stores calcium ions so it is called as storehouses of calcium sarcoplasmic reticulum it stores calcium you know friends calcium plays an important role in muscle contraction that calcium is stored in muscle in the endoplasmic reticulum that is called sarcoplasmic reticulum so because of that 
सार्कोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम इज कॉल एज वॉट फ्रेंड्स स्टोर हाउस ऑफ कैल्शियम नेक्स्ट फ्रेंड्स माइटोकॉन्ड्री ऑफ मजिल सेल्स और कॉल एज सार्कोजोम्स फ्रेंड्स सार्कोजोम्स वॉट आर सार्कोजोम्स माइटोकॉन्ड्री ऑफ द मजिल सेल वॉट इज सार्कोलेमा प्लास्मा लेमा ऑफ द मजिल सेल वॉट इज सार्कोप्लाज्म साइटोप्लाज्म ऑफ द मजिल सेल वॉट इज एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम सॉरी सार्कोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम ऑफ द मजिल सेल What is the under name of the muscle cell? Muscle fiber, sarcocyte, and myocyte. Okay, friends. Now, come to nuclei, friends. See, friends. Skeletal muscle has many nuclei. This condition is called as multi-nucleate or syncytial state. Very, very important, friends. Skeletal muscle cell, skeletal muscle fiber has many nuclei. This condition is called as what, friends? Multi-nucleate state or syncytium state. Multi-nucleate or syncytium. Next, friends, these nuclei are arranged peripherally. Friends, they are present below the sarcolemma. Generally, nucleus is present at the center of the cell. But a skeletal muscle cell has nucleus below the sarcolemma because of what we are saying. The nuclei are arranged peripherally. Nuclei are arranged peripherally. Next one. This is very very important for neat and dense friends. How this, how this multi-nucleate cell is formed in skeletal muscle. See friends, in the embryonic stage, each multi-nucleate muscle fiber is formed by fusion of embryonic mononucleo mononucleate myoblasts. Friends, in the embryonic stage we don't have multi-nucleate or syncytial muscle fibers. Friends. we have what mononucleate myoblasts mononucleate myoblasts means each myoblast has only one nucleus these mononucleate myoblasts fuse to form a multinucleate muscle cell muscle fiber skeletal muscle fiber here you have to remember friends in the embryonic stage we have mononucleate myoblasts these myoblasts mononucleate myoblasts fuse to form a multinucleate or syncytial skeletal muscle fiber or skeletal muscle cell next friends sarcoplasm of each muscle fiber has number of filaments called myofilaments or myofibrils see friends this is important the sarcoplasm the cytoplasm of the muscle cell the sarcoplasm of the muscle cell has some filaments what are they friends they are called as myofilaments or myofibrils okay friends see friends structure of muscle fiber this is sarcolemma nucleus mitochondria means what friends they are sarcosomes next myofibrils they are present in the cytoplasm once again friends nucleus peripheral nucleus see friends outer layer is sarcolemma next mitochondria are sarcosomes next what are these friends myofibrils filamentous structures are myofilaments next come to structure of myofibril friends these myofibrils are present in the sarcoplasm of the skeletal muscle fiber or skeletal muscle cell each myofibril has alternate dark and light bands friends each muscle fiber has sorry each myofibril has alternate dark and light bands because of that we are calling as what friends striated muscle okay now see what are dark bands and what are light bands dark bands also called friends a bands are anisotropic bands friends dark bands are also called as a bands or anisotropic bands these dark bands has a protein what is that friends myosin very very important dark bands thick bands has a protein what is that protein friends myosin so whenever you hear the word dark bands thick bands thick filaments you have to remember which protein friends recall myosin protein friends next come to light bands friends light bands are called as i bands or isotropic bands these contain a protein that is actin so whenever you hear the word myosin and actin these two are what friends these two are muscle proteins these two are muscle proteins see friends the image of 
a filament. See friends, this is I band, light band or isotropic band. This is A band or dark band or thick band. A band is made up of what friends? Myosin protein. I band is made up of actin protein. See friends, I band or thin filament, actin, thick filament, myosin. Okay friends, this is about the what friends? Structure of a skeletal muscle cell. Very, very important friends. And also very simple friends. Okay, here you have to remember tendon, epimysium, perimysium, endomysium, fascicle, fascia, what is muscle fiber, what is A band and what is I band and what are the muscle proteins. They are actin and myosin. Okay friends, thank you. Good day.